So we're on a lovely cow path here. And oh, I'm stuck again. Uh, we're trying to make our way over to that rock wall in front of my mom, just to the right and above. Here we have a spring in uh, Sawmill Canyon. That means there's water in the canyon. It flows out of the rocks or up above. And it's an excellent place to go hiking for many reasons, including that. Um, up above us here is an old windmill. And amazingly, it still works. There are some tanks down there that are fed by the pump on the windmill, despite the windmills all shot up. When I was a little kid, I grew up in Nebraska, in rural Nebraska. I had a really big fascination with old windmills, old barns, um, riding horses, play, playing cowboys and Indians. That was how I grew up. Unfortunately, that is dying away. There are no more of these old barns and windmills. So when I see one, I'm absolutely fascinated. I have to stop and take a look at it. So years ago when I first came up here, we went to the right, but today we're gonna go down the left. I think this is the main road. Um, and I want to explore it and see what condition it's in. That time we first came up here, there were hunters and they had spotted a mountain lion on their game camera. I was super, super awesome. I've always wanted to spot a mountain lion. I've only ever seen one at work. I was checking up on my client's home outside of town and there was on the patio. Uh, I went to get my camera. Maybe I should have hid in my car, but the first thing I thought of is taking pictures. And by the time I was back, couldn't have been more than 15 seconds, the mountain lion was gone. They're super shy animals and they want nothing to do with you unless you're running or taunting them or, you know, between them and their cubs. So right here, this is the coils out of a seat in a vehicle. I wonder if these are the ones, there's an abandoned vehicle clear up on the side of the mountain. I wonder if this is the seat. There's no way you could get a vehicle down this. Maybe a dirt bike. Very interesting though, because this follows the spring. So we're cutting a trail here. Actually, we're just following the cow path. That road just fizzled out to nothing. There they are. Apparently they are enjoying the walking in the creek bed. It's a little bit treacherous, but it works. I believe that's a Choya or some evil sister thereof. You want to stay away from that, it hurts. So my folks are down there resting on a rock, taking a sight, taking the sights in. And I see cow paths going up on top of this little hill here. Just gonna go up here and take a peek. Well, there's nothing more up here than great views like down there. They're coming off the rock. So this is why you need special clothes. Wow, through all this stuff back here. Ooh, got my hat. So 
so we are gonna explore the uh, southern drainage here. This where it goes, I gotta crawl through the gun. Here we go. Good God. Ugh. Ugh. I'm through. <laughs> This is from People Crossing the Border. That's a uh, electrolyte mix they sell in Mexico. Found a good trail. Don't know where it goes. I hope it goes to that rock wall I'm curious about seeing. So we're gonna make our way back down to the drainage again and hopefully we can get across it pretty easy. We're starting to see more sign of people crossing here. There's a backpack. Well, there's an old blanket from some people crossing. Pretty sure that's what that would be from. Probably a company of that backpack. Let's see if I can't find another trail through here. The cow one fizzled out. Making my way through more and more. There's a little ridge here at the rock outcropping. So behind me is that rock wall I wanted to explore. But I think my parents are petered out, so we may cut a trail out of here. Most of the time the hike doesn't begin until you start back. We're gonna cut our way back. I think my dad wants to take the uh, creek bed. One of the dangers of uh, going along the creek is if it has enough water, you wind up in all this vegetation. Oh, there I go. I'm out. Uh, not hard, but just step. back to the fork where we started, diverted up the uh, south drainage. And then from here, we'll just get back on the trail, head down to the windmill and on to the car. Mission accomplished. Pretty sure I can't take my truck back on this road. So we didn't make it to our objective. However, seldom do I. <laughs> Many of these trips, I have to make five, even six trips before I can find a route to the objective I was wanting to explore. This time it's the rock wall. We didn't quite make it there. However, we gotta go down that creek and that was pretty amazing. So this is the view from tonight's kitchen. In a few moments we'll have sunset. We'll eat our dinner and then we'll head home.